Explain to us how you think about the U.S.-China relationship, given some of the comments that Donald Trump has made about China being a, manipula uh, a currency manipulator. Did that, did that come up during your meeting? Well, I think first, in America, there's a freedom of speech, right? So he can say whatever he wants, and I respect, I understand. But of course, I have my views. We did not uh, the debate about the China, U.S. trade or manipulation. We did not debate. We did not talk. We uh, actually we agreed on something. Small business developing the Midwest America, helping the farmers there, small business there, the exporting to China. So we all agreed. But something that we did not discuss about the you know the American the, the job losing to China, Mexico, and this. Can I share with you my ideas? Please. Yeah. First, I think 30 years ago, when I just graduated from universities, I heard America had a wonderful strategy. They outsource the manufactured job, service jobs. They outsource the manufacturer to Mexico and China. Outsource the service job to, to India. There's a book called The World is Flat. Tom right? Friedman, yeah. colleague at the New York Times. And I think it's a perfect strategy. You know that the, the Americans said, oh, we just want to control the IP, we just want to technology, we just want to brand and leave the, the, the lower end the jobs for the world. Great strategy. And second is that the American international companies made millions and millions of dollars from globalization. The top, 10, top 100 companies in America Amazing. I remember uh, when I graduated from university, I tried to buy a beeper, the Motorola beeper. <laughs> Cost me $250. My pay at that time was $10 a month as a teacher. And the cost of making that beeper is only $8 for a chip. Right. So, past 30 years, IBM, Cisco, Microsoft, they made a tons of money. The money, the profit they made, are much more than the four largest banks in China put together. The Mo China Mobile Phone, China Unicom, and whatever you name it, put together. Still, these multinational companies made more money than. So their market cap grew more than 100 times in the past 30 years. But where the money go? This is what I'm curious, because as a business people, I always care about the balance of shit. Where the money coming, where the money go? Past 30 years, the American had 13 wars, spending $14.2 trillion. The money going there. What if they spent a part of that money on building up the infrastructure, helping the white cars, the, the white colors and blue colors? No matter how strategic good it is, you're supposed to spend money on your own people, right? On the, not everybody can pass Harvard. Like me, we are not good at education, right? We should spend money on those people who are not good at schooling. And the other money which I'm curious about is that when I was young, I heard America is bad, Ford, Ford and Boeing, those big manufacturing companies. Last 10, 20 years, I heard about is Silicon Valley and Wall Street. The money go to the Wall Street. And what happened? Year 2008. The financial crisis wiped out $19.2 trillion USA alone. They wiped out all the white colors and destroyed 34 million jobs globally. So what if the money, it's not Wall Street, what if the money spent on the Middle East, Middle West of the United States, developing the industry there, that could be changed a lot. So it's not peop the other countries steal jobs from you guys. It is your strategy, okay, but, but you do not distribute the money, the, the money and things in a proper way. This is what I... Okay, I'm not going to say that China and the US is going to have a trade war, but in the Trump administration get tough on China in terms of trade agreement, is that going to hurt Alibaba? Well, I don't think so. I think China and the US should never have a trade war. We'll never have a trade war. And I think we should give him President-elect Donald Trump some time. And he's open-minded. He's listening. And I, I think the war is so easy to launch a war. But it's so difficult, almost impossible sometimes to terminate a war.
the Iraq war, Afghanistan war, is that finished? No. Trade war. I believe one thing. When trade stops, the war starts. Trade is something that people start to communicate. Trade is something people exchange culture and value. And I will be happy if China and USA agree on something and Alibaba business, business model destroyed. I would destroy Alibaba model by stopping the war between. Because how can you imagine the first largest economy of the world, second largest right. economy of the world, have a trade war? It's going to be a disaster for two countries and for the world. Okay. If we can, anybody can do something to stop it, do anything to stop it. Did you have a reaction uh, to Trump and uh, the situation with Taiwan and how he's thinking about that? Well, Taiwan, I think this is, this is not the something about government. This is not something about business. This is something about the people. If the Taiwan issue is the population, if you do Taiwan issue, it's like against 1.4 billion people. So this is another issue. So we're talking about trade. We're not talking about Taiwan.